Hello, fellow project managers. Today, I want to show you how to adjust some of the Gantt chart settings in Smartsheet. This can be helpful if you're going into a meeting with some project stakeholders and they don't need to really get into the weeds of the project. Maybe you wanna pull it up so that it's higher level where you're really talking about months versus weeks and days. So let's dive in a little bit. My name is Candace Porter and welcome to this YouTube channel where we talk about all things project management. If you are not currently a subscriber, please subscribe. We have a lot of great content that's going to be coming out this year, and we want to make sure that you get notified when it does. I am currently in Smartsheet, as you could see here on my screen. And again, what we want to do today is change the Gantt chart view, and you can do this for many different purposes. You really need to be in the Gantt chart view in order to be able to get to the project settings button. So if you happen to be in grid view, before you do anything else, make sure that you are on Gantt view. When you switch over to Gantt view, you can find this little cog where it says edit project settings. When you click on that, it's going to give you several different options here. We're going to focus on the middle option, Gantt timeline settings. When you click on that, you can see that the primary heading is currently in weeks and the secondary heading is in days. What that is referring to when we're looking over here on the right hand side of the project, it's showing us the week of December 31st with each of the days associated with that, January 7th and each of the days associated with that, January 14th and so forth. As mentioned, we may not want to be in that level of detail if we're meeting with the project sponsor or some more senior leaders. What I want to do is to give them an understanding of the flow of the project at a much higher level. So for the purpose of today, I'm going to switch this over to quarters as the primary heading and the secondary heading, I want to switch it over to months. If you look here just above this box that's open, our project start date is in January and it runs through September. Therefore, really boiling this down to the months, it should show a nice flow of work. You can also change some of the other settings here. So start day for the week, if you're going to be in week view for any reason, you can set that to Monday if you'd like. That's gonna be the first day that shows up in your Gantt chart. You could see that Sunday and Saturday up here currently show up in red font. That should be an indicator that you are on a five-day work week. So you're on a five-day work week if the days are showing up in red font. So if for some reason you're in a big project push and people are now going to need to be coming in on a Saturday or a Sunday, I can show you how to update that. But that's just a, a few things that you'll want to be paying attention to, and you can adjust it right here. So primary heading, I'm now switching to quarters, secondary to months. Let's just switch this to Monday. It won't show up in my new view very clearly, but just know that you can adjust that. You can also switch the display label, and we're not gonna focus on anything with that right now. You can switch the different quarters, the secondary heading, the months here, and the start of the fiscal year. So let's click OK here. And you'll now see that it's a condensed version of our overall Gantt chart. So you could scroll down and see that rather than scrolling over and over and over, kind of week after week, that now it shows up with Q1, December, January, February, Q2, Q3, Q4, and the months that fall under them. Now, as I mentioned, if I go back to the previous view, so I'm gonna click again on Gantt time scale settings, and switch it back to months, and then let's go to weeks. Looks a little bit different here. 
So January, February, March are the primary heading and then the secondary heading. I'm gonna go back one more time and I want to switch it to weeks as the primary and days as the secondary. And because I did switch this to Monday, when I click OK, you'll see that it starts January 1, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are in red font. So if you need to adjust your work days as well, let's say we are going into a big project push. When you first open that same box, the settings box, it's going to show you the project settings and it falls under the dependency settings. If we look over here to the bottom right hand side where it says working days, it will allow you to edit. If I click edit, you'll see it shows Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday checked. Let's say we're now going to be working on Saturday. So I'm going to check Saturday. It also allows you to adjust the length of days as far as hours, and you can manually put in here some of the non-working days. So you can manually insert those for the holidays that your team does and does not work. And there's this handy little box here, make this the default settings for all users in my account. So if you're kind of the owner, you have all of the users in your account, you can select that. I'm gonna click OK, I'm gonna click OK, and now you'll see that my Gantt chart automatically updated and we have only one of the days, which is now Sunday showing up in red, which means Saturday is now determined as a work day. I hope this is helpful and I hope that you have great success with your projects. Thank you for joining me today where we focused on updating the settings for the Gantt chart. Again, you want to make sure that you're in Gantt view before you'll have the option to click on the settings. So that's really important. It's within that setting where you have the ability to adjust the Gantt time scale settings and the dependency settings where we focused on updating work days. We turned it from a five day work week to a six day work week. Thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Candace Porter. This channel is about all things project management. And if you haven't had the opportunity to subscribe, please do.